Let's have a look at how we can apply filters to dashboards. I have a sample dashboard here that has two metrics on it, coffees brewed and the number of guests that are in your office. The first thing that you're going to see on every dashboard is a date drop down. Now this drop down has a number of presets such as the past seven days, past 30 days, uh, past 12 months, etc. Uh, it also allows you to select some custom date ranges if you'd like. Additionally, depending on the chart type, you can also turn on or off certain segments. But let's actually take it to the next step and have a look at some dashboard level filtering. So to do that, let's go to the edit dashboard icon. And before we set up our filters, let's have a quick look and see what kind of dimensionality exists within our two metrics. So you can see here on the coffees brewed, we have office, location, and drink type. If I select the other metric, you can actually see that there's additional dimensionality, but office is one of the dimensions that overlaps with coffees brewed. So let's set up our filter. You can see that the list of available filters is available in the top right. And we're going to select Office, Location, and Drink Type. Click Save, and you'll return to the dashboard. So you can now see that those filters are also available in the top and available to every user. So if we go ahead and open the Office one and select Montreal and Vancouver, you'll see that both of the metrics, the coffees brewed and the guests in the office, will update. But if we change the location one, that one only impacts the coffees brewed one, the two metrics on the left. It doesn't impact the guests because that data was not available inside of that metric. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that there's a couple of additional non-coffee type drinks on that metric. So one of the things you can do is you can pre-configure the filter for a metric to include or exclude certain things. This is especially useful if you're sharing this with other users inside of your organization. So let's go ahead and we're gonna exclude the non-coffee drinks, the iced tea, uh, the lemonade, and the tea. We're gonna exclude those. Now, if we go back and save that, you can see that for any user that uses this dashboard, they're really only gonna be able to look at the coffee type drinks. So this is another way that you can fine tune your selection, you can give more functionality to end users and allow them to really understand what is happening inside of their data. Perhaps one final note about sharing. Setting up the dashboards is especially useful when you are sharing this with other users. Keep in mind that edit mode will allow them to edit the filters. View only mode, you set it up for them. As always, hope this was helpful and stay tuned for future videos to come.